Awesome. Go ahead, Mr. I think it's recording. Yeah. All right. Go ahead, Mr. Oh, I'm Mr. Corpus. So we are fortunate for your students to have two teachers in here. So this and is exciting. One of the things, uh, one of the things, uh, because we are two teachers, one of the things that we're very uh, big on is executive functioning skills and organization, which we're going to get to in a minute. But first, you probably want to know who we are. My clicker stuff. All right. All right. So uh, this is my second year at um, Chantilly High School, but this is my 13th year um, as an FCPS teacher. Um, I was born in the Philippines, but I was raised here in Northern Virginia, went to school in Fairfax County, moved to Loudoun, and then graduated after all run, but I grad and then I went to George Mason, got my undergrad, got my master's, and I found my way into teaching in 13 years later. Here I am in 1926. Um I am a husband, a father of four, including one little furry one named Toby, the other three. Um Lexi, she's my oldest, she's 18, she just got into VCU. Um moved her in. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Oh, okay. oh, thank you. I was like, appreciate that. And then uh, my other two, uh, two years old and a five month old. So, yeah. And I'm like, I'll take the five month old anytime because mine's 22. Okay. And last thing about me is I'm a big Washington sports and so I love watching like, the, the football team, basketball, soccer, all the Washington sports. So, uh, Mrs. Keating here, uh, I'm a 1900s teacher. Um, this is my 31st year of teaching. This is my 24th in county. Uh, my daughter just graduated college in May. So, and then I will be, um, it's my 30th wedding anniversary, so we're going to London and Paris in three weeks. Uh, uh, like I said, mother, PA girl, uh, I'm a crafter, I'm a reader, I'm very excited. I have read so far this year 120 books. Um, no, it's not that impressive if you see what I read. It's pretty trashy. Um, and that's about it because I really, you guys are like, well, it's nice, but we, we need the facts. So a couple things, supply list. Biggest supply the students need is an interactive notebook. But we are... We have been working, working, working because these are a pain to find. And you guys, students buy the wrong ones. We will be supplying them for your students. You do not have to go out and buy it, but there will be a charge on school bucks. And we went and we found them cheap. They were like, well, there's one on Amazon. For we're like, no, no, no. We're getting the one at Walmart that's half the price of the one on Amazon. That is the plan. If you prefer and your student wants to buy their own one, they are more than welcome to as long as it is college ruled. So eight and a half by 11, there's a link there. The reason is we, we put a lot of notes in here and papers and if they're wide ruled, it doesn't fit and it's a mess. Um, did you use yeah. this last year? Yeah, we did. Yeah. yeah. Doesn't and, and it work? It's for great. Yeah. It's again, that whole focus of like executive functioning, the organization and planning and keeping things in order. Yeah. It's, uh, it helps, helps our students a lot. Because this goes in the backpack and it doesn't get lost. Put this in the backpack, it's never being seen again. Um, is that, sorry, is that a five subject? Yeah. Uh, it's three to five subject. Yes. I believe the one we're ordering is three because they're only going to basically use three. Um, but if you've got, yeah. Um, we are asking for the students have their school issue laptop and charger. Because of the new cell phone policy, we are going to ask headphones, old fashioned headphones with a cord. Um, I do go to the dollar store regularly and buy, a pack of buy the cheap and they seem to walk. The reason that we do ask, you do not need these on the first day, the reason that we ask is sometimes students will be doing um, a video, of taking notes or something, um, and maybe the student was absent. So when we have a CC, they can make that up by listening to the video there. Or sometimes there are kids, when I do a video as the class, there are some kids who are like, I can't do this with the class. I need it at a slower pace. 
or whatever. So the headphones allow us to do that. And I think that's that. You know, when it comes to a lot uh, for planner, if you want to provide your student with a physical planner to be able to not up like their assignments or anything, that's awesome. But uh, we also will promote like digital things like Google Calendar. Um, I will promote a paper planner. Yeah, yeah, no, that's fine. One of the things that, one of the things you will find, um, all due dates are on Schoology. I just showed Mr. Kupu, Mr. Kupu's how I make an assignment, and then it, because then you can just click on it and it'll show the due date. Other things that I do for due dates for parents is I use talking points. So, for example, let's say we have a math test. A week, like three days before the math test, I'll send out, hey, don't forget, math test. You'll get it on the top. You'll get a text message. Yay! And then the night before, I'll send out, hey, don't forget math test. So I use Schoology, we use Schoology, I use Talking Points. Also, um, when students use their phones, I send a nice little Talking Point message that day. <laughs> I sit down at two o'clock and be like, your student violated FCPS cell phone calls. Um, I found that it makes a lot of cell phone. One thing that we do, um, Mr. Coltrose and I do, even though they have second period, 90 minutes is a lot for students. So we do 40 minutes, five minute break, 40 minutes. Because that way the kids, I like to tell them, there are days that I'm just boring. And there are days that he's exciting and he's like really exciting. And Mrs. Keating is like, uh, it's second period, I haven't had a doctor back yet, I need to walk. So we do do a five minute break for your students. Um, I'm not going to go through the grading policy because you've probably heard the grading policy a uh, hundred times. Did you think they've heard the, you know, 70, 30 retakes to 100. Yeah. There is a D minus this year, et cetera. Um, so what skills, so here's the big thing. I love this class and I love the fact that they have switched from SOL to PBA, to writing an essay. Because I used to teach this class Kenya people's Kenya because they had it was like memorizing trivia. So we really, really, really work on skills. We do a lot of writing in this class. We work on note taking skills. We work on vocabulary. Um, one of my favorite. He hasn't been introduced to how we do vocabulary yet. And the first time like we do it, you're going to want to pull my hair out. And I'm going to want to pull my hair out, but at the end of the year, it's oh, I'm sure. oh no, the first time we do it, it's awful. Um, so like what I'll do is I'll sign each kid, I'll put them in groups of two or three, and each kid will get a vocabulary word on the slide, and they create a slide and present the vocabulary word. Things like that, and working with that, and a big period for them is go try to show why your child is the way class. Okay, we'll look at that. And we look forward to seeing your students on Tuesday. Thank you. Thank you. Did I miss something? Oh, yeah. I got to stop. Yep.